What's going on, man? And welcome back to the channel. So this is my five reasons that you should buy COD World War II. So yes, I'm one of those that don't hate the game just because it's Call of Duty. I actually enjoyed this year's upcoming title from what I played on the beta. So let's start it off with number one. Let's just say the best thing about COD World War II is that it's boots on the ground, man. I know a lot of people know that, so don't just jump off this video yet. Okay, so there's no double jumping, no wall running, which I know a lot of people like that. I don't, man. If y'all see my live stream of BO3, I'm just not the greatest player. Well, live streaming in general is kind of rough for me, man, because I don't focus as much as I should, because I focus on you guys, which I hope y'all appreciate that. So that's my number one reason. But I have more behind this. So number two, the campaign. The campaign looks amazing. And it's filled with historic events. Now, hold on before you kill me in the comments saying that it's not. Some of these, I'm not saying all, but a lot of these are historically accurate. You know what I'm saying? Once again, not all of them, some of them. Which is awesome. So we can play them historic battles that really took place. And for all them campaign junkies out there, man... The campaign is supposed to be longer than usual. So you don't have to worry about buying the game and beating it in five hours. Maybe it's 10, maybe it's 12, maybe it's eight. I don't know, but at least it's better than four or five like it's been. Number three, the guns are back to normal. They're back to normal, man. No laser shooting, anti-alien warfare firearms. I don't know, I don't like it. I don't like those guns. I mean, if y'all enjoy them, that's cool, man. Uh, to each his own I just don't enjoy them so number four the map layouts now I did get a lot of people that seem to spawn behind me but I've always been the type to complain anyways oh he spawned behind me and killed me so take that with a grain of salt but the map layouts man they're three lanes bro three lanes so you got this way you got this way and you got this way and you can hold down a section if you need to and make it happen I love that about Call of Duty that's what makes it so competitive, man. To get them people out of them spots. Not to run all the way to the back of the map and to the left and all of a sudden there's three people spawning there or posted up there at a random spot and there's seven different ways you can go. That makes no sense to me. I don't know why they went to that method. No clue. So, the number five reason is the time to kill, man. It feels just right. You don't get melted. Now, it just depends. Now, some guns... You did seem to get melted just to, like, just depending on what game. Uh, that shotgun incinerary rounds, that thing was a monster. But you didn't always die from it. Because, like, when I used it, bro, I would just get nothing but hit markers. But when I went against it, it seemed like I died pretty quick. Not always. And they did fix the hit uh, marker detection. So that shows that they do care about the game. And they're fixing stuff already, which a lot of Call of Duty's did this. I don't think Infinite Warfare did, which I hated that game. If y'all enjoyed it, I'm super sorry, man. I'm just telling the truth. This is my five reasons that COD World War II will be good and that you should buy it. If you don't buy it, it doesn't hurt my pockets. But man, don't listen to everybody on these videos crushing it because it's Call of Duty, man. Yes, I know they failed us, but at least they're trying to make it right. You know what I'm saying? Like they can't be perfect every year. I understand the boost jumping ruined it for a lot of people, but I'm sure the younger generation they honestly like boost jumping. So either way it goes, bro, you gotta you gotta get new fans while keeping old fans. So I think BO3 did that, not for me. I mean, I didn't hate BO3, don't get me wrong. I, I have like maybe a couple days played in it, maybe, maximum. But like the older Call of Duties, bro, you look at them compared to now, my playing time has dropped like insanely now it is because i'm older i have a lot more things to do but regardless if the game was good i would get on there and grind like grind man give me something to grind like the kill streaks um that's one of the downfalls i'm gonna talk about i didn't really prefer the kill streaks too much now they might i'm sure they are gonna add new kill streaks obviously so whenever the game comes out i would do an update video letting you know how i feel about them I'm hoping this game turns out, man. Don't give up on Call of Duty yet. I'm not going to. Now, if you want to, go ahead, man. Be like everybody else. 
be your own type of person, man. Don't listen to everybody when they're crushing it. You see these YouTubers doing these videos where they're crushing the game, and then the next video, they're saying the game is great. It makes no sense, man. They're making money off of it, bro. Don't listen. Play for yourself. And if you like it, then buy it. Streaks, I'm out of here, man. It's been real. Mission underway. Grenades, fire! 